Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a melon farm. I completely blagged this on the spot earlier. I've probably seen it somewhere before, but you know, um, it's kind of basic as you can see. Uh, it's redstone, pistons, blah de blah, a lot of dirt, a lot of glass. Um, I actually recorded this earlier, but the audio that I recorded messed up, so I'm having to re record this intro a bit and the rest of it in there. But yeah, if you. Uh, if you're interested, watch the video. I'll explain how it's made, you can probably manage it anyway. And yeah, this is this is it when it works. Rather loud, but you'll get used to that. So yeah. Enjoy the video. Here we are then, on a brand new creative world, super flat, just to make it easier to demonstrate. If my audio goes completely off to what I'm doing on the screen, then I apologise, because I've explained already, obviously, that I'd already recorded this, but it messed up. Uh, so what I'm doing here at the minute, as you can see, is I'm making a trench. This trench has to be eight blocks long, because that's going to contain water. That water is going to be a channel for all of the melon that falls out to go down. So you plant the water in there, that'll go down eight blocks. And I'm going to come over and take that block out. And as you can see, it doesn't run any further than those eight blocks. So it kind of channels up and accumulates in that gap. As I'm demonstrating now with this redstone. It took quite a while for that to float down, actually. It's quite annoying. But as you can see, it just it brings it out into that little gap there. So that's going to be where we collect all the melon that falls out. Uh, <coughs> what do we do now? I believe that I'm trying to explain where all the pistons and stuff go but I'm getting confused so this is where I start doing one design and then I kind of like I consider something else Cause when I did this initially I had two melon plants there and there as I just demonstrated um, and it's good it works but it's probably not really I don't know how you'd put it it doesn't really make too much sense I might as well just have one plant with that bit next to it because that would be a whole lot easier basically because you get like an extra two melons per level if that makes sense as opposed to just being four melons on the bottom floor you get six so yeah so I'll start placing pistons down with a load of glass the glass is to stop the melon growing in the wrong direction let's cover that one now and also the glass also means that you can see inside from the outside so that you can tell how many melons you've got ready so then you're not just randomly pressing the button and being disappointed when there's nothing comes out um, when I was doing this I thought that the design might be slightly flawed because uh, when you press the button the problem that you've got is that melon tends to fly everywhere it kind of flies over to the other side and it might not actually go into the little channel in the middle yeah, and a ball's up there. <laughs> Accidentally got the bone meal on the floor instead. Um, so yeah, it might be worth in future maybe. What would make more sense is to... Um, what was that about? Yeah, it might be worth putting like the pistons opposite like a glass block. So that then... Obviously, there's no confusion with the. Uh, yeah, I'm getting lost. There. I'm trying to. It's the audio is going straight into my laptop. But yeah, just then it means that the melon doesn't go flying. Anyway, as I'm showing you now, wooden block with a button on it, like redstone. We're going to channel that around, and I like to leave like a gap between the pistons and the redstone because then it means, or well, for some reason it works better. I can't get it to work when it just runs straight past the pistons. So I'd much rather have um, the redstone where the pistons are like this. It seems to work a hell of a lot better. Um, I don't know what I meant. But yeah, a few repeaters in between just to make sure that the channel keeps going. You don't need them all that many, but I prefer to leave... Well, you put them right next to uh, where the next channel off to the piston is going to be. Uh, you get like a... I think it's eight blocks between each between each repeater or something like that so as long as you've got eight blocks between them that's as far as you can go I mean here I've done 
it's kind of about seven ish but you know it works it'll work fine as uh, as I'll demonstrate soon so connecting them all up with the old redstone good old friend that's slam quite got used to run around to the button and I'll give it a press eventually he says boom et voila and they all move press it again just to show you again they do kind of go slightly delayed but it's not a problem because you know everything's going to come down anyway and it, it probably I don't know it doesn't matter it does, does what it's supposed to do so that's perfectly fine right so I'm going to get the hoe get my hoe and start hoeing out the ground uh, you need to do it not the side with the hey, oh, I got caught in the water here yeah that was it you need to do it in the side opposite the piston so not where the piston is but the one next to it just like that because the melon is going to grow in that and it's going to the, the actual melon itself is going to grow in the big gap in front of the piston so plant down the seeds get some bone meal if you can't be bothered waiting make sure you don't click on the ground like I did earlier schoolboy error and that will create a fully grown melon plant which obviously results in melons which is pretty cool uh, have a quick run over just take that block out again and we'll put some water back down hopefully soon we'll have some melons growing in there so I can show you what happens so but yeah as you can see there that the channel goes off down to that little entrancey bit where uh, it'll all accumulate down the front also while I'm, on, while I'm thinking about it the reason I use a button and not a lever is because that automatically turns the pistons on and off you can put a lever on there but you have to make sure that you remember to turn it back off again before you walk off um, so I prefer to use a button because obviously it does that for you and you can just wander off without a care in the world not worried about whether you've left it on or not about the fact that there's no you know, you're not, there's no disappointment of you coming back and finding there's no melon grown um, yeah this this one I decided to create multi-story so I've added an extra level on top of it which is why I've left a big gap at the top um, and again encased in glass because you can see inside it although I do make a bit of a balls up as you saw in the intro uh, there's a load of dirt everywhere <laughs> So I didn't really need to put in, but I thought, yeah, I'll do it. At this point, I just thought, you know what, I'm putting dirt down. No idea why, but, you know, I could have used something a whole lot easier to see through. But yeah, just plonk a load of glass down. It's quite a boring bit, I'll be honest. Not really much happens right now. I don't even know what I was doing then. I think I was considering something. Um, so yeah, you've got a big gap here, you need to make sure that's eight blocks this way, so I believe I had to add an extra bit on the end of it. Yeah, I did. Which then becomes my little kind of doorway, as it were, to fetch the melons when I fell down, as you'll see shortly, and completely balls it up. So, fill that with dirt. Lots of dirt. Or glass, whatever you wish to choose. I just put dirt in there purely because I'm just weird. I thought it'd be easier. So you want dirt along the sides, obviously where the uh, pistons and the plants are going to go, and one at the very end, and straight along these sides. Go on, put it down. I oh, was putting glass there. That was it. I can't remember what I did. I only did this about half an hour ago, if that. Uh, surround it with glass again. <clears throat> purely just because I've got OCD and I, I like that. Make sure, make sure you keep that hole open though, because if you cover that hole, then nothing's going to get down into the bit below where it's going to get channeled to you. So yeah, now I've done that. Uh, I think I actually had another layer, didn't I? Oh no, I was, that was it. I was considering where the pistons needed to go. I got a bit lost. So you have to make sure that the pistons on this level are moved up by one. Um, I'm looking for lights at the minute, or torches, because it was getting a bit dark. And I thought, well, you're not going to be able to see anything if I don't put torches down. So, uh, what was I doing there? Oh, it was, it was getting rid of bone meal. I was trying to decide what to get rid of. You'll see random stuff that I'm just going to have to explain to you that I don't even know what I was doing, to be honest with you. So, we'll get it lit up, get it looking nice, get it looking bright, unlike me. Dundering around like you do, whacking my old torches down. And you can see a bit better. 
Nah, I've got the problem again. Oh, yeah. the new new tower, tower. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what the actual word was for it, but right. So that's where the water goes, and it'll run down this end into the hole, which I managed to fall down, and I get pushed. So, oh yeah, that was it. That was what I was doing. I was explaining in a snow biome. That was it. In a snow biome, if you're in one of them, the snow has a habit of freezing up the water. So if what you do, that end block that I was just showing you a minute ago, if you put a torch in there next to the source block, it means that that water doesn't freeze up. So that then, obviously, your little channel keeps going, and you also have to break the glass to replace the water or to break the ice. So this layer doesn't seem to have a problem. I've not had a problem with this one. It's just that bottom layer. There's always an issue regarding it freezing over. So there's the water, as you can see, running down. And I'm trying to decide here where to put the pistons. That's what I was doing. Getting all muddled up and all confused. You wouldn't have thought I'd built it already, would you? But then I was just like, I, I understood from that bit there. It made sense. So I had to kind of move everything along by one. And eventually, you want to stop messing around and stop falling into stuff. Which I believe I do, don't I? Yeah, I did. There you are. Eventually, <coughs> I begin making the next layer. Which works in exactly the same as in the same way as the bottom layer, making sure you um, put glass all around it and you know set it all up as was before. Don't know what I'm doing there. What on earth am I doing? I don't even know. Right, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I did the exact same up this layer as I did the bottom one. I'm still messing around. <coughs> I'm not entirely sure why. That way, then you've got multi-layer of stuff. So then you've got like you've got 12 melon plants that are going to uh, provide you with a good amount of melon, which is nice. The reason I chose melon is because it uh, obviously the plant itself doesn't get destroyed, so you can just keep growing it, and you can harvest the melon without damaging the plant. And it's also quite easy to to do. It only heals one food block, I believe. But that's more than enough. You know, you have like eight bits of melon. That's your food food bar sorted, isn't it? And each one of these, you get like about 20 pieces of melon out of it. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, there's all the pistons in place. I thought I'd block up the bits. The like little gaps that I saw that I missed. I think I start putting the seeds in now. Yeah, I do. I start hoeing the ground. So it's the same as the bottom. You just uh, make sure you do the gaps, and then you put all the seeds in. Blah blah blah. blah. Into the tilled dirt. Get your bone meal again. I ain't got a clue what I did then. I ain't got a clue. But yeah, get your bone meal. Use that on the tops of the plants to make fully grown melon plants again. Voila, and boom! Right, now I believe I enclosed the top of this to stop it from. Well, I fell off the edge actually. Was this one I made the redstone? <coughs> My, yeah, I think this is actually where I uh, sorted out the redstone. Thinking about it, because I was trying to decide where to go from. So with this redstone, you actually need to use uh, a glowstone block. The funny thing I learned from Generic B, you know, God bless him, is helped me out a lot with like trying to figure out redstone. The thing about redstone, redstone, yeah, glowstone. I mean, is that um, it's the only block I believe that you can actually get redstone to work through. As I'll demonstrate here, I put that just up there, put the redstone underneath, and I can still put the redstone there and up here straight to my piston. And when I finally get around to it, I get a lever, and it actually it works, which is really bizarre. But it can go through the blocks, which is really odd. If that if that makes sense, it means I don't have to make a huge channel around the edge of it. I can literally just do that, and yeah, it works. It's pretty cool. So with that sorted, I began building <coughs> all the way around. Pretty much mimicking what I've done on the bottom, so it's near enough exactly the same. 
set with like maybe stuff like one block closer to me I think it was make sure I link everything up oh, I forgot it, this is quite tedious to watch isn't it <laughs> and I'm the one who made the bloody video and I'm meant to make it interesting so yeah I go what am I doing my video player thing is messing up a lot it's alright but uh, I take the dirt blocks round the corner and I build it over again making sure I link everything up blah de, blah de, blah flip a dip oh, that's why I messed up with the uh, the uh, dirt I'm not very good at it placing blocks is, isn't is really my forte oops and again and then I started doing the redstone because I kind of get I got distracted. I think I wanted to make sure everything was in place. And yeah, it's literally it is the same as down as the first time round. So it's kind of simple. Although I'm trying to check now where I put the uh, redstone repeaters because I can't remember. Because I'm really clever like that. And I think I settled on it being uh, it's one block before everything else. Hence why I'm kind of skirting across the edge, shifting it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the bit where I got really confused. I get confused a lot. It, you know, that's why redstone's been a bit of a mystery to me because I get re way too confused way too easily. So I kind of figured it out, I think, and I ran up top, and boom, boom, and finally understood what I was doing. So yeah, connect everything up. That should work fine, I believe. From there, it'll be absolutely okay. You don't really need a repeater here, but I put one in just for the heck of it, just for like continuity purposes. Um, and yeah, that should. I mean, you can see a bit of melon there has already grown. That should, in theory, work. So, let's have a look. Yeah, all the pistons are going out. So that's cool. Obviously, all the melons come down as well through the channel, which is pretty damn awesome, I'll be honest. Uh, what did I do then? I think this might be... No, that was it. I was tidying up the top. That was it. Yeah, I was encasing the top of it. You don't need to, but I mean, it makes it easier. And if any mobs spawn or anything, it means then <clears throat> they're not falling into your little farm. So it's completely enclosed. There's no weird stuff getting in there. Um, that's that's basically the only reason why I'm doing it, really. It's the only reason why I'm kind of blocking the top up. Uh, it's like a giant greenhouse, isn't it, really? <laughs> you can see how messy everything is. You can see how untidy I actually leave everything. There's just dirt everywhere and repeaters everywhere, redstone everywhere, and it is a mess. You know, if anybody can make it any better, then you know, I'd absolutely love it if you could. Because, you know, it'd be so much better. I'm not entirely sure what I'm demonstrating here. I think this is where I'm talking about having, like, yeah, the pistons in different places and stuff. Uh, I believe I added in a moment when I stopped looking around like an absolute weirdo. I think it was, yeah, this is it. I get an iron fence. You can pull an iron fence or a wooden fence. I prefer iron because it just looks better. And uh, when I finally found it. There we are. And you can place that right at the very front. In between these two glass blocks. And that then means that nothing can get in. Apart from like maybe a chicken that might skirt underneath it here. But yeah, that means it's totally enclosed really then. So I'll tidy up the edge of this, make sure I leave that block intact because I need that one. And that's basically that. <clears throat> if you enjoy it, if you like this video, then like it, uh, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you do different. Uh, if you change anything anyway or have any kind of alterations that you want to let me know about, let me know in the comments, link me to the video, and um, I'll check them out might possibly feature in the future I don't know we'll see but yeah just let me know what you think um, like the video subscribe comment blah -de blah all the usual show it about and yeah I'd say that that was
basically that. I'll, well, I'll just show you the melon when it gets harvested eventually. Harvested. Sorry about that. I, I really don't know what I was doing here, to be honest. Having a nice fly around. Oh, I wish I'd just I mean, press that button already. Press the button. Press the button now. Oh, I don't know. I'm just sat there now. Right. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Yes? No? Ah. Oh, I don't know. Am I gonna press it? Am I gonna press it now? He's gonna press it. He pressed it. Amazing. Amazing. 